What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. I'm really excited about this issue because we are jumping into Sanford Green and Jonathan Hickman's Doom one shot. Now this story isn't necessarily connected to anything. This is a standalone one shot showing a future of Doom labeled Days of Doom. What we're shown is his future, when he stood against a giant, when he stood against Galactus. That was the day that Doom was defeated. So, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, we pick up with Doom floating in space. The wreckage of his once giant battle suit surrounding him. It would almost appear that Doom has died, that he had finally met his match in battle. And as the ship approaches, we get the narration of Val Richards, the goddaughter of Doom. They are detecting that his vitals are almost not there, that it's almost impossible that he is even alive. Talking to Herbie, what they come to the conclusion of, the only way that he is still alive, is magic. But they bring him on board and they begin to work on him. They prepare to bring Doom back to the land of the living. This is when Val begins to look for some kind of safe haven. Somewhere away from prying eyes or at least a defensible position to where he has time to heal. And Val can fill him in on everything that's been going on and why she came looking for him. That is when they happen upon the giant battle head of Doom's battle suit. And so getting to this safe location, Val goes in to have a conversation with him. We also learn that they are injecting 1% of the super soldier serum into his body. With Doom asking what happened, she tells him that he lost. With Herbie accessing the memory core of Doom's battle titan, they were able to replay the battle. And Val's done the calculations under regular circumstances. He should have been able to hold his own, but what he didn't know is exactly how relentless the World Either pilgrimage had been. Doom had assumed he was foolish to act too quickly, and everybody else, they were foolish to wait. Doom had assumed that a universal constant like Galactus would remain constant, that billions of years of consistent behavior would go without change. Galactus showed him that he assumed wrong. He defeated Doom in battle. And then he broke him, shattered him to pieces, left him floating in space. But after that battle, Galactus, he didn't have enough. Val goes on to explain that Galactus is nothing if not an exercise in energy conservation. Moving slowly through the universe, really saving up as much energy as he can, controlling his appetites. But nobody had ever seen, or at least in this universe, nobody ever witnessed the World Eater both rampant and ravenous. That is what defines him now. Equilibrium be damned. He surrendered to the madness, to the hunger. And so after Doom, he didn't stop. He raced from planet to planet, devouring all in his way. Worlds and societies collapsing, civilizations erased from existence. He did this world after world, until he arrived at Earth. Reed Richards, of course, waiting for Galactus' arrival. He attempted to solve the problem. He mustered all of Earth's heroes, all of Earth's villains. He made a plan. He solved for everything. He assembled his army. They had stood in the gap. They faced against the great enemy. X-Men, Avengers, Fantastic Four all gathered for this one gigantic fight. Only for Galactus to destroy all of them. He left this planet an empty shell, a dead world with nothing left alive. This event took place two years ago, and that is when Val began her search. She knew that she had to find her uncle. Doom must wonder, he has to ask the question, are we all that is left? Did no one else survive? Did no one else stand up against the World Eater? And there were forces that tried. After Earth, the Guardians of the Universe assembled. But they fared no better than the Defenders of Earth. 
So all of the living things that measure their lives by normal means, only the two of them remain. This is where Val gives Doom what he needs, letting him know that ordinary armor isn't going to work in this fight. They have to upgrade him, grafting the blood of a celestial onto human plasma. The super soldier serum given to him earlier will stop him from dying. His body will synthesize it. When it comes to his armor, it is a composite of Euro and Vibranium, one for strength and durability, and the other to serve as a conduit for the three cosmic cubes. This is going to power both him and his suit, and Doom must admit that he is pleased. But there is more to this. At the time, Doom couldn't understand the motives of Galactus, but Val has figured it out. Two days ago, she watched a spiral galaxy eat a broken nebula, and it was so insignificant. Simply background noise. A brilliant nothing compared to the silhouette of what unfolded before it. Because what happened is Galactus ran into the Celestials. Val had watched this battle from a few light years away. Galactus overflowing with the power of hundreds of devoured worlds, going to war with the Celestial Gods. The heavens themselves had shaken while they did battle, and Val must admit that watching the killing of an entire pantheon is a sight that is best left for the blind, because that's exactly what Galactus did. He wiped away all of the Celestials. But the question to why he is doing this, Val has yet to fully figure out. But Doom knows. It's the Celestials machine. This is like the ultimate nullifier on a universal scale. A universe killer. But it's also a universe creator. The death of one so that it may be replaced by another. Galactus is really just tired of waiting for the real thing to happen, to witness the end of one universe and the beginning of another, one born from the destruction. And so what he is building is a machine that is going to replace everything. And so Doom plans to try and stop him. But they will also have to face against the Heralds. Galactus will definitely have them, and in this case, it is the Molecule Men. They believe that it is unlikely that Galactus can do any of this without the machine. Doom is going to handle the Molecule Men while Val makes her way to the machine and tries to shut it down. This is where Doom jumps into battle. He faces off against the Molecule Men, the whole time thinking to himself, how did it come to this? Where did things go wrong? How could it have been prevented? Most of all, how did he not see it coming? Some may argue that the right person at the right time could have prevented this, but he also understands the folly when thinking this way. When the end comes, there's always going to be desperate cries of what if. They always think that the civilization could have been saved, that the empire of men could have been maintained, but they lack the understanding of the universe, the nature of everything, the infinite finite, the endless end. They pray for a miracle. As Doom uses his powers getting ready to take down the Molecule Men, he knows that they pray for miracles, and he knows that he has performed some even himself. They may pray to be saved, but no one can save what is already lost. With Doom bringing down all of his power on the Molecule Man, he decimates them. But he does take a moment and think about all the things that are gone. More so, he thinks about what he still has to lose. That is Val. Now at this point, Val has made her way inside the machine. But they're already too late. There is no way of disarming or breaking it down. Once this thing is activated, there is no way to stop it and it has already been activated. And so Val has no option but to go inside. She begins to shut off live conduits. This is going to lead to the machine's inevitable destruction, but it will also mean that she cannot escape. Getting full access of everything, Val communicates with Doom communicates with her uncle, letting him know that he always was good to her, always protected her and looked after her, and that she loved him forever. Clicking a button, we see the machine detonate. Galactus is flung back and his plans absolutely ruined, and Doom has lost the last thing in his life that truly matters. As the power surges out of his body, Galactus peers upon him. Doom knows that life ends for all of them and so if he is to face death he will do so head held high he will have his final moment of defiance as he charges in on galactus he embraces doom and laughs in its face 
And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. So this was a pretty good issue. You now it doesn't give us a definitive ending here, but we can assume that Galactus takes down Doom. Regardless, they did what they had to do. Galactus already won. And also, let's give props to, to our writers here for actually making Galactus not a punching bag. Showing Galactus true potential and true power. But this story wasn't about Galactus and Doom. This was about Val and Doom. You know, it's an interesting relationship that the two of them have. The Fantastic Four always trying to stop Doom's schemes, but also trying to bring him back into the really their way of thinking. But no matter if they are at foes with one another, no matter if they are currently friends, or they're indifferent of one another, the one constant that has always remained is Doom's love for Val. In fact, the Fantastic Four annual, if you guys haven't checked it out, check out my Fantastic Four playlist. That annual was really awesome because Doom went back in time after he learned that the Fantastic Four children had dis been displaced in time. Finding out that his goddaughter had been displaced in time and Reed wasn't doing everything he could to do something, Doom goes back in time and tries with great effort to reverse what happened. It's one heck of a story but it's also just a testament to how much he loves Val how much he cares to protect her and we see the same thing here he held off the molecule men long enough for Val to do what she needed to do in the machine unknowing to him she had already had a backup plan sacrificing herself if it was necessary and so they were able to destroy the machine but at this point doom has nothing left he has no one no country no home no planet no Val the only thing left to do is to charge forward and meet your fate. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you want to get caught up on everything that has been going on with the X-Men or the Fantastic Four, go ahead, check out the links in my description as well as the top of this video. It's going to get you completely caught up on everything that is going on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers from $1 to $50 from loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only only are you helping out the channel tremendously, you are getting tons of perks in the process. Now, if you're unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.